that's where you're going to go. You're going to be in the lake of fire. You're going to remember these words. That's why we tell you to come back to the most high. Read. And the scorners delight in their scorning. Yeah, scorners, they like to talk about us. They delight in their scorning. But it's not true. According to the word of the most high, because they don't know. They don't really know. But you need to listen in here before the disaster start to come. Before the most high start bringing them plagues on you. Because he's going to bring them. Because he said he's going to do it, he's going to do it. And the ones that come back to his law, statutes, and commandments, he's going to bless. To rule this world forever and ever and ever. Because you used to following him. And fools hate knowledge. Fools hate knowledge. Hate knowledge. Jump to verse 24. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 24. Because I have called and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand and not my regarded. But ye have set at now at Slakia. But ye have set at now on my counsel. He said he stretched forth his hand. And you took it like it's nothing. We've been out here prophesying for years and years and years. And you think it's nothing, but you wait till the most high visit you. And when he visits, you know everybody be hollering, screaming, ah, save me, ah, I won't do it no more. They start crying then, right? He said he'll stretch forth his hand. You ain't listen to none of his counsel. Where's his counsel? In his word, the Bible. We bring you the precepts of understanding to come back to him before it's too late. So you think it's nothing, huh? Really? And what none of my reproof, what none of his reproof. Sometimes he done checked you. He done dealt with you. He done hurt that spirit. He done hurt that body. He done hurt that flesh. And you ain't really recognize it. Really? I also will laugh at your calamity. The most I say he got a little humor too. <laughs> he know he a joke. He know how to, he know how to make fun of you too. He say he gonna laugh. At your calamity. That's right. So you're gonna laugh at you. That's when your right. calamity start coming, you, you look around, you, you end up losing your home, because I tell you what, ain't nothing guaranteed in this world right here. America's going down, the dollar bill is stupid. Come on. He gonna laugh at you. That's why when he put you in this lake of fire, That's right. he's say gonna laugh at your calamity when it comes. That's why we're trying to warn you to we're come good, back to God. truth, to the laws of the most high. Really? I will mock when your fear comes. He going to mock you when your fear comes because you don't want to fear him now. You're not afraid of the most high. But when your fear comes, he say he's going to mock you. You know, he's going to say, hi, look up down there. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> yeah, he's going to say, get up. <laughs> like they tell us, huh? <laughs> That's right. He going to mock when your fear coming. When you start to be afraid, it's going to be too late if you don't start now. Really? When your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you. You hear that? He said he's going to laugh at you. you know, don't think he can't bring no tornadoes here. That earthquake can open up the ground any time. And shake, you know how the earthquake, how when the earthquake comes, you start feeling, oh, there's a certain feeling you feel when that earth starts shaking. He said he's going to laugh when your calamity comes. When you think everything is cool, you're going to find out the most high will be visiting you because you don't want to come back to him. His law is to come out. This ain't hard, brothers and sisters. It's just you make it hard because you're wicked. All the wicked going to burn in fire. One million degrees plus fire. That's what he got for you. This ain't a hard thing to do. Most high got fear. That's why he say he gonna laugh at your calamity. He gonna mock you when your fear come. When you start to fear him, he gonna be mocking you, calling you names and so forth. Say, look at him down there calling on me. This is what he said. Read. Right? Then shall they call upon me. Then you gonna call upon him. Just like every time something bad happened, everybody tell me, Oh God, please save me. I won't do it no more. You know you've been there before. I, I promise I won't do it no more. Save me out of this calamity. Quiet to him. Read. But I will not answer. He said, but I will not answer. He ain't going to answer you. You're going to be quiet to him. He said, I ain't going to answer. Everyone that's hearing my voice as I'm prophesying the word of the most high at this time. Better come back to him. Read.
<clears throat> they shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. So you're going to seek him early, but you're not going to find him. This is serious, people. That's why you got a controversy with the people in this land. Because there is no truth. What is the truth? There is the laws of the Most High are not being brought out to the people that you can come back to the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the Most High. Read. For that they hated knowledge. Did they what? They hated knowledge. They hated knowledge. Read. And did not choose the fear of the Most High. You did not choose the fear of the Most High, which is the beginning of knowledge. You can't even talk about wisdom and understanding because you can't start with the first point. Knowledge. So what you gonna do? <laughs> they were none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. You know what none of counsel? A lot of y'all think, y'all been watching us on this corner for a long time. Y'all think we just on this corner running our mouths and so forth. We bringing the unadulterated truth of the Most High's word to you. That's right! Straight up. This is the counsel of the Most High. He sent us out here to bring forth this truth to our people. His law, and commandments, being justified in our faith in the Mashiach Yahweh Shai before it's too late. It's going to become a time that you're going to wonder where we at. What, what should you do? It's going to be too late because you're not going to know what to do because you're not gathering yourself together with the brothers and sisters that are dealing with this truth today. Read. Really? Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way. You're going to eat of the fruit of your own way. How you feel, you feel what's right, you better hope it work for you. That's all I can tell you. That's what he's telling you. Your way, your way or the highway, yeah, he's going to say your way or the highway, keep on, keep on right. <laughs> Where you going, though? Where you going? Ain't that far you can go, man. You got highway to heaven. That's true. There ain't no highway to heaven for them. If they don't come back to the laws of the commandments of the Most High, you done. That's it. Really? And be filled with their own devices. You're going to be filled with your own devices. The things you think working for you, I hope it work for you in the time of destruction. When he, bring, when he say he's going to laugh at your calamity, when he start visiting your butt, I hope it, I hope it works for you. Really? For the turning away of the simple shall slay them. This turning away of the simple shall slay them. Going to kill you. Really? And the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. Yeah, the prosperity of fools shall destroy you. That's why you look at money. Everybody got money, y'all figure that they got some kind of top knowledge. But they won't challenge us with the wisdom and knowledge that we have. No way, shape, or form. Money don't make you intelligent. A whole lot of dumb people got money. Stupid people, that's why he said they gonna trust their what? But whoso hearkeneth unto me. That's like you. And the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. The prosperity of fools shall destroy y'all. That's why you look at these preachers. They got, they very prosperous, right? They said this, this, pros, this prosperity of fools shall destroy you. Why do we say that? Because they're not teaching the truth. They're not teaching the laws of the Most High. They're not teaching that you're the children of Israel. They're not even teaching that the Most High is the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He's our power. And the, the, Jacob is the forefather of the 12 tribes of Israel. They're not even teaching that. Therefore, they fools. As he's saying, the prosperity, they live in prosperous, though. So they got preachers got their own airport. Leave out their house, go to their own airport. They got a little jet, can leave, leave the church, go from one city to another city. I mean, come on. In one day. Yeah. Prosperity of fools going to be your destruction. Go back to Hosea 4. Start at verse 1 again. Hosea chapter 4, verse 1. Hear the word of the Most High, ye children of Israel. For the Most High has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. See, the Most High got a controversy. I mean, he got a problem with the people that live in this land. Why? Because there is no truth, no mercy, no knowledge of the Most High in the land. There's no 
truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of the Most High in the land, who y'all call God. But when we ask you to show me him in the Bible, can't nobody show him to me. But you done made up your own power. That's you. That's your mind. You done made up your own God. That's what you have done. And you don't want to hear the truth because it, it contradicts what you believe and what you want to stand on and not believe it in him. Hold that. Get uh, Matthew 5 and 19. That's what Mashiach Yahweh Shai said. Because fools of prosperity have to struggle to destroy you. Listen to what it said. Matthew chapter 5 verse 19. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever, no matter who it is, shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, they shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. That means you're going to be below everybody. So you think his commandments are not important? This is what Mashiach Yavashai telling us. He's telling us this. We know. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called the great in the kingdom of heaven. The same will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever shall do and teach the commandments, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. So where you want to be at? He said, if you do and teach the commandments, you teach and do the commandments, you will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. But see, you don't know anything about that because you follow the way of the world. Y'all think, think that this world going to last forever? Do you think anywhere in the world, have we? what kind of change have we had? My, Obama said we're going to have change. Change, right? All you got some, all you got is some change in your pocket. <laughs> some nickels, some pennies, some quarters. You know, and maybe a 50 cent, 50 cent piece if you're lucky. <laughs> That's it. What a dollar bills, what a hundred dollar bills. Shoot. They just said Obamacare, everybody have Obamacare, they got a little writing in there and say, okay, they got access to everything about you now. They're having a controversy about that now. You know, so when you look at the world that you in, you're nothing but peons to the, the rich and the famous, the prosperous people in the world. They can care less. They don't pay no taxes. When you pay the tax, you're taking care of them. They got ways to come out of paying anything because they got the money to do it. Here we are working hard, laboring, paying taxes and so forth, and you don't have nothing to show for it. I mean, come on, we spend over a trillion dollars a year. Where's our money? Where's our banks? Where's our corporations? Huh? Where's our Macy's? Where's our uh, shopping malls in these major cities? We don't have nothing. You know why? Because we broke the laws of the Most High. And he said he's going to plague us with these curses that will befall the children of Israel, who you are. Not You're not dark-skinned because you was cursed, because Ham looked at Noah's nakedness. Come on, man. Do that make sense? No, you cursed because you didn't, we didn't follow the laws, statutes, commandments of the Most High, as he said in the Scriptures. That's some dumb stuff, man. That's, I said, we believe everything. We're not even yeah. You know, I mean, we believe anything that they tell us. They told us a whole lot of lies, and y'all believe the lies. Y'all stand on just one little lie, one little lie, and you think you know something, or you're dealing with something. It's nothing but lies. Everybody been lied to. If not, come forth with a whole lot of truth, according to thus said the Most High. Because this Bible is our book. We the ones that's supposed to be reading this and saying, this is us. We the children of Israel. And we the ones got next forever and ever and ever. And some right. of you will be put to death because you don't want to come back. We know your spirit. We know it's how you think. Get Isaiah the 30th chapter. We know how you think. A lot of you say, and the preacher probably said, don't listen to them Israelites. Don't listen to them Hebrew Israelites. They teaching lies when they teaching lies. Got you all brainwashed. Read this. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children. I said, woe me destruction to the shalom, brother. It says, destruction to the rebellious children. Read. Said the most high. That take counsel. They're not taking counsel, but what? But not of me. Not of the most high. 
Y'all take counsel, but not of the most high, not of a Mashiach Kelvin shot. Read. And that cover with a covering. You're covering with a cover, cover yourself up with a cover like you don't see me. I'm supposed to see everybody. He don't see me. Most I see everything, read. But not of my spirit, not of the spirit of the most high. Because you had the Holy Spirit, which is the spirit of the most high. You would have this knowledge. You would have this knowledge. You would seek this knowledge. You would know that you have the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is defined in Isaiah. Get that 11 and 1. 11 and 2, excuse me. The Holy Spirit defined. You would have this spirit to know that you're supposed to fear the most high, which is the beginning of knowledge. You would hate the evil way. Read this. Isaiah chapter 11, verse 2. And the spirit of the most high shall rest upon him. The spirit of wisdom and understanding. The spirit of counsel and might. The spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Most High. There it is. That's the Holy Spirit. Go back to Isaiah, 30th chapter. Jump to verse 9. So you don't have the fear of the Most High. You don't have the Holy Spirit. Because you would have all these, these principles that the Most High said the Holy Spirit going to give you. You would know this. Read. Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 9. That this... It's a rebellious people. What the most I say, the children of Israel are rebellious. Rebellious people, read. Lying children. They're what? Lying, lying children. Lying children. Bunch of liars. So Israel is a bunch of lying children. Sit up there and lie in a minute. Read. Children that will not hear the law of the most high. Children that would not hear what? The law of the most high. Children that would not hear the law of the most high. So he know. Who know better than the most high? He tell you this is how you are. You don't want to hear the law of the most high. He gave us moral laws, civil laws, dietary laws, and ceremonial laws. We just, we just finished the Passover and Feast of Our Love and Prayer. But y'all celebrate what? The pagan day Easter. Y'all talking about Hamashiach Yahweh who you call Jesus Christ, died on Friday and rose on a Sunday. He rose three days later. Come on, man. You can't count three days from Friday to Sunday. That's how they got you duped. Yeah, man, that's only two days. Big dummies, that's what most I call you. How long you simple was when you love simplicity? Yeah, being simple. They put it right in your face and you can't do nothing about it because you can say, oh, you're going to try your best to get three days out of Friday to Sunday. Come on, man. Get out of here. That's how ignorant you are. I mean, not knowing. How you going to count from Friday to Sunday say he died on a Friday, he rose on a Sunday? That's ignorant, man. That way most I say you bunch of rebellious children. Be. What say to the seers? What you say to the seers? What? See not. Don't look at us. You can't see us. We do what we do, and oh yeah, come go up in the church on the first day of the week, act like you holy than now. Then you see everybody else doing whatever they're doing, and you know you're doing worse things than that. But you're gonna judge them. <laughs> yeah, that's our people, especially them Christians. Boy, they'll tell you, they'll they'll condemn you in a minute, send you to hell. And know damn well they ain't follow no laws. Me. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Prophesy unto us. Don't prophesy us the right things. And what the most I say, you got a controversy because you ain't following the law. There's no law here. What law? The laws of the most high. His rules and regulations. Me. Speak unto us smooth things. Yeah, speak unto us smooth things. Yes, we come together today, congregation. Everything is beautiful. Let's For God, hands. God loves the world. Let's, Let's hold hands. hands. Let everybody everybody gives gives That's right. How do you give a one-man ticket away? Yeah. That means Just hands. let's hold hands and we're going to glory saints to the kingdom. We're going to glory to the kingdom. <laughs> Pass the plate, 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 pass the plate. Lock the doors now. Dig it, lock the doors. 
They count the money, go back to the count that money, go back to the count that money. Ain't enough money in this. Man, we gotta pass the plate again. Pass the plate. When they get the money, they fly out. Yep, pass the plate, pass the plate. And you give up all your money, man. The church supposed to be set up to help the people. That's all. Collect money to be able to help the people, man. Take care of the responsibilities of the church and take care of the people. No more, no less, man. All these people that's gathering all this money in and becoming filthy rich off the people, man, they're going to pay. Most I going to get them. Don't think that your pastor going to get away with what he's doing. The scripture says he's destruction to them for what they're doing. Because if you don't know that you're not a Gentile, but you are the precious children of Israel that the Most High is talking about in this Bible, they're teaching you lies. Point blank. Read. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 10. Which say to the seers. They say to us what they say. See not. Don't look at us. You don't see us. Read. And to the prophets. Prophesy not unto us right things. Prophesy not unto us right things. That's why you're so used to hearing lies that when we come with the right things, you say you don't want to hear it. Just like you ain't want to hear about Shaq y'all was shot. They cut up their eyes and ears from him. They hated him. He was despised by people. He wasn't loved. Read. Speak unto us smooth things. You want to hear smooth words. You don't want to hear the unadulterated truth of the Most High. He's coming to kill people. He's coming to kill those that don't want to come back to him and follow him, follow his law, statute, and commandments. He's going to put you to death. Straight up. Think about it. I'll tell you what, if you break the rules and regulations of the so-called white man, what are he going to do? Let you go? Go out that parking lot right now, run through them red lights, see what happened. And he's standing on that corner, see what he's going to do. That's why we went into captivity, slavery, and bondage, went through all the things that we've been through, hanging on trees, our women being raped, and so forth. Because we ain't want to follow the both sides. So you want to follow me? I'm going to give you to the worst of the heathen. And he gave it to us. That's right. And here we are now. That's them right there. That's right. He gave it to us, man. But we deserved it because we didn't want to follow him. Just like it is today. And you being programmed not to follow him. Whether you know it or not. I'm telling you though, through the spirit of the most high. Let's read it. Prophesy this seat. Get you out of the way. Get out of the way, you Hebrew Israelites. Read. Really? Turn aside out of the path. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. Because y'all won't seize the board here. Y'all want him. Y'all want this cat. That's who y'all want. Y'all love him. This homosexual. This cat that has sex with his sister Lucretia. Y'all love him. Y'all love him. Yeah. Y'all love that sucker. Because why I say that? Because who's standing against it? What churches is coming out standing against a so-called white man represent himself as a Mashiach Yahushai who came on the earth with hair of wool as a black man, a so-called black man? Who's standing against it? Who's standing up against it? Hello? Who really standing up against it? None of them. None of them. Who's coming on TV saying, we got to stand up against the so-called white man that painted Leonardo da Vinci and his father, uh, Rodrigo Borgia, the Pope Alexander VI of Rome. We got to stand up against them because that's wrong. Who doing that? Nobody. That's why you're so brainwashed. You know, filthy, McNasty. Not brainwashed because your mind ain't clean. Your mind is dirty. Excuse me. We got to stop saying that, too. It's just a... A habit of speech saying praying watch, but you really your brain is dirty, your brain is filthy and nasty. Because to be clean, you would know the truth, you would speak the truth and not speak all the lies that you want to hear and that you re continue to reiterate these lies that you're hearing from these pope chop beating preachers, the theologians, whatever, whatever you want to call them. They're teaching you lies, point blank. That's why we're telling you what you say. We know what you say. What they say? Read it again. Get you out the way. Get out of the way, Hebrew Israelites. Read. Turn aside out of the path. Turn aside out of the path. Get out of our way. we going this way. Get out of our way. Read. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. He's the Holy One of Israel. And that's who you are. You don't even want your power to be in front of you. To even deal with you. Because you want the devil 
You want to represent Satan and the devil. That's who you want, really, because that's who you've been dealing with. That's who you used to. You were born in his world. Satan showed Hamashiach Yahushua, the anointed Savior, all the kingdoms of the world in the moments of time. He said, all is going to be thine if you do what? Bow down and worship me. So that's what you're following. When you take up for the devil and Satan, you love, the, you love Satan and you love the devil. That's why you tell us to turn away from your path. You don't want to hear us because you're so used to following Satan. Bunch of wicked people. Read. Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise his word and trust in oppression and perverse sin, perverse sinness, and stay thereon. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, whose breaking coming suddenly at an instant. What? He going to break you down, he's saying. Since you want to believe in the oppressor, you want to believe in our oppressor, the so-called white man that brought us here in Cap Cargo Slave that took us off our land and settled us over to Europe, in Africa and to America. You want to believe in the oppressor? Therefore, he's ain't gonna break you down. And we broke down, man. We love everybody but ourselves. And you know it's true. true. Get uh, Ezekiel, the second chapter. We love everybody but ourselves. That's why we're telling you, you gotta come back to truth. Come back to the laws, statute, commandments of the Most High before it's too late. How you doing? All right. Read this. Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 1. And he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. Now stand upon your feet. Don't be sitting down and say, Stand upon your feet. He gonna speak to him, right? And the Spirit entered into me. The Spirit, the Holy Spirit. Entered into Ezekiel, read. When he spake unto me and set me upon my feet, that I heard him that spake unto me. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel. Son of man, I'm sending you to the children of Israel. Like he sent us to the children of Israel. We coming to you. Right here in South Central, Christian King Boulevard, right? To a rebellious nation. Who? A rebellious nation. They're going to send us to the children of Israel who are a what? Rebellious nation. Rebellious nation. Me? That has rebelled against me. Rebelled against the Most High. And about the Yaki was shot. Me? They and their fathers have transgressed against me. We transgress against him. What do we transgress? We broke the Most High's laws, statutes, and commandments. That's how we transgressed against him. Right? Even unto this very day. Even unto this very day. In 2014. That's why we're telling you it's the same thing he told Ezekiel about the children of Israel. The same thing. We can open up this book and speak to you as rebellious children. Not wanting to come back to the Most High's laws, statutes, and commandments. Read. For they are impudent children and stiff neck. Not, he said, We impudent. You are impudent. We as the children of Israel are impudent. I mean, you silly and stupid. That's what he calling you. Silly and stupid. He already said, Our law, you simple ones. Now he calling you stupid. Read. I do send thee unto them. And thou shalt say unto them, telling them what to say to we, the children of Israel. You, who are the children of Israel, say what? They said, the most high when Mashiach Yahushai, and they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house. We're going to speak the word whether you hear or forbear, because you say you're a rebellious house, a rebellious family. Rebellious against who? The Most High. And the Masiach Yahweh Shah. That's who we rebellious against. And that's sad because your salvation is nearer than what you ever could believe. And what you're going to do when he come for you. 
and you're doing whatever you do. What he say, you're going to follow your own way. He's going to have you follow your own way. Whatever you're doing, hope is going to work for you. Read. Yet shall know that there has been a prophet among them. They're going to know that there's been a prophet among them. That's what he's saying. And we follow that same example of Ezekiel. Go to Ezekiel 3. Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 1. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest. Eat this roll and go speak unto the house of Israel. So eat this roll. I mean, eat up all this word I'm going to give you. And go speak to who? The house of Israel. Read. Really? So I opened my mouth and he caused me to eat that roll. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy body to eat and fill thy bowels with this roll that I gave thee. That's the Bible. So eat up this word that I'm going to give you. Cause it to go into your stomach, to your intestines, all over your body, through your bloodstream. Read. Then did I eat it, and there was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. It was in his mouth. This word was in his mouth as honey for sweetness. And that's the part that y'all love. Y'all love the honey for sweetness. Y'all, that's why y'all want smooth words. Y'all want deceit. Y'all want all those things that gonna make you feel good. So with sweetness in his mouth for sweetness, read. And he said unto me, Son of man, go, get thee unto the house of Israel. And it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. And he said unto me, Son of man, go, get thee unto the house of Israel. Go and get thee into the house of Israel. Not no one else. The, who live in the house? The family. Go to the family of the Israelites. Read. And speak with my words unto them. For thou 